Hi guys, we're back Smash Fishing. We're currently on a cliff. <laughs> hey Sam. Yeah. We've come out, shady lurkers for the big congas. We're fishing really deep gullies today. We've got a bit of a climbing rope to get down to land them if we can get one. So hopefully we get a few, eh dude? Yeah, hopefully. Hell yeah, big baits guys. We'll give you a run through of what we're using. Hell yeah, stay tuned. It's Smash Fishing. We're using this bait today guys. We've got whole mackerel. We've got a bunch of mackerel heads and horse mackerel. We've got bluey. Basically all just big fish baits. I'll show you the rigs once we get all set up. Sam's this side, you can see the cliff we're on. It's, this is all our spaces. And then it drops right down. Hell yeah, we got the rope there. We're gonna tie to a rock. Woo! The rope all tied on now guys, making its way down the cliff. This is our landing station, we've just got to climb down there. It's a bit sketchy so there's going to be no rushing tonight. Hell yeah, we've got the gaff, only the little gaff, we wish we had the longer one but we'll make do. Three metre net, got a chance at bull hoss off here. So hopefully, once we get all set up, let's start biting guys. Woo! What I'm using guys, we've all, we, all of us have got, uh, say all of us, me and Sam, got 50 pound line straight through on this one anyway the other one that we've got about a 25 to 30 foot leader of 50 pound line the rig is our standard rig it's on the channel breakaway lead so it, it can pop off if a fish bites small trace of 200 pound and this one's an ato octopus hook i think strong sharp that's what you want and hopefully we can winch them in about 12 foot sonic beach caster I've had loads of congas on this in the past. It holds up really well. So stay tuned, guys. Sounds is getting ready and baited. What are you going for, mate? Uh, just going to chuck a, a chub mackerel, actually, head on. Yeah, just the head. Yeah. Sound. But stay tuned, guys. Woo! It's still a bit frozen at the moment, guys. We might have to just knock a head off, mate. Look, we've got mackerel heads in there. Yeah, yeah. So stay tuned, guys. We're having problems already. Choice, guys. I'm going to put two mackerel heads on for now. Just because the bait is not thawed out whatsoever. So that's all the bait is. It's going to keep it like that. If a big one's down there, he'll have that off for sure. So stay tuned, I'm going to get these out. We've both got one rod out at the moment, guys. We're just testing the field at the moment because we're a bit cramped up, as you can see. This is all we've got to fish off. And above us is just a big cliff all the way up. So hopefully the congas start biting. Hell yeah. Setting up some nice lights, guys. Nice blue ones. I find the blue you can see in the dark amazing with. And the light greens. I've got pink ones as well. They're pretty rubbish. Second bait going out, guys. Nice big mackerel head. Fish on, guys. And it's a big boy, I think. Whoop. Just to bear with me a little bit, guys, I'm heaving a... Oh. Can you see it, mate? Is it in the rock? Have to climb down the ledge, guys. Hold on, he's coming up. How big? I can feel my line chafing. It's a big one, eh? Ready? Whoa. It's a big boy, guys. Sorry about the camera work. Right. 
don't know if you can see much guys, you'll have to try and walk around mate, I can't move it. Woo! It's a big fish guys. You're right there mate. Just take your time, don't fall in, alright? Coming your way. Yeah. Coming in. Hook it. Oh. That's it. Bring it up, my boy. Woo. Hell yeah. Time. This was a bit dangerous. Woo. Stay tuned, guys. Just want to bring it up a little bit, mate, so I can see. Check that out, guys. It's a beast. That out, guys. We're in a bit of a mess. Just giving you a quick glimpse. Let me get you a better show, guys. Woohoo! Buzzing, baby! Here's the fish, guys. Check that out for a stonker. The head on it, mate. Woohoo! Look, that thing is so long. I'm shaking. Uh, you only hooked it in the back, mate. Yeah. That's happy days. We're, we're going to get this one released, guys. We're going to get a quick weight. And we're going to get you a better show. Going to get this fish weighed now, guys. This one's got to be a 20. Oh, so fat. Get in there. It's a big boy. Got to, trying to be as quick as I can because I want to release this fish. Sam did a good job. It was really dangerous area there and he got it right in the back. So it's not in any of his internal organs. What are you guessing, Sam? Oh, 19.2. I'm saying 18. Oh, no. A pound for the net as well, though. Come on, lock, man. It's not locking. Woo! I'll keep up here. Well, it's reading 19 pound two. <laughs> so it's an 18 pounder. Oh, yeah. 18 pound, guys. And look how wide that mother is. Hell yeah. Right, he's, he's swallowed the hook a bit, so I'm going to cut the line. I use, I use hardened steel hooks at the moment because I want them to rust out when they swallow them. I don't like, I don't like killing fish like this. So what I'm going to do is get my line close to the mouth. Hell yeah. I'm gonna get a few pictures guys quickly and then we're gonna get down on the rocks, get you a release. I'm gonna get a special release now guys. I've got to climb down the cliff a bit with it. Oh. Woo! I'm gonna get you a last show. And then I've got to throw it from here because the tide's major. Check that out for a donkey, guys. Woo! It's smash fishing. Oh. Hit my rod, then. Look at that, he's straight off. Hell yeah. Stay tuned, guys. Let's go get Grandma. Gonna get my wriggle baited up now, guys. That conga will be fine. It swam off nicely. Yeah. That was rubbing against the rocks and all that. My line's all frayed at the top here. So I'm gonna get a new rig on, guys. Get it banged out. Hell yeah. Woo! Buzzing, mate. Thank you very much, Sam. So Big amazing. shout out to Sam, the Guernsey angler. Follow him, on, follow him on Instagram if you want. My main man on Smash Fishing. He landed that one a beauty. You gotta give him credit for that one. Stay tuned, guys. Just getting a new rig set up, guys. We're rushing a bit because we've got rods out. Sam snapped. That's expected in conga fishing. That's why we make so many of these rigs. What I use is old trot line from an old trot from fishermen. has 200 pound breaking strain, so it's great for conga traces. It's all the rods out again. Sam's got one more to go out. Making up some rigs, eh, mate? Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's what it's all about, guys. Waiting on the big boys. It's really enjoyable, this sort of fishing. We've got the rubbish gaff with us today. As I've got the scales down the side. We got this gaff, it's a, it's a 12 o shark hook. 
but it's not very good for gaff and big fish. So we got one at home that's going to be in the next, well, yeah, probably the next video after this is how we uh, make the chin gaffs. So stay tuned. Like I said before guys, the grounds we're fishing today is a cliff, as you can see it goes right up and over, we've got ropes with us and all sorts, they sound. <laughs> Need them. Yeah, Scott Sam's got both his rods out now guys, we've got four rods in the water with a big ass piece of mackerel, we're just waiting on Mama Conga to come past. Just lost my conga rig guys, so now I'm putting an up and over rig, 80 pound line two 6 hooks, six ounce grip weight. We've got sand about 50 yards out. So what I'm gonna do is get a small mackerel head and bomb this out all the way onto the sand just to see if there's any harse or possibly a ray. Ray have been caught around here before, so you never know. Never know unless you try. Woohoo! How I'm baiting this mackerel head, guys. Pretty simple, just behind the eye. You go right in. Oh, not that side, that one's a bit broken. Try the other side, go right in, straight out the bottom, and just push the eye down. So it looks like that. A lot of hook exposure, and second hook, once I can get it, all the way up. You can get bass this way, this is a great way to whittle out big bass. You go one, two, three, straight under the throat latch. Tighten it up, and there you go. That's one hell of a bait right there. Anything gobbles that down, we fish out. That is the definition of a munched bait, guys. <laughs> Nothing left of it. You get a fresh bait on, the grip lead pulled out. I thought I was hitched, that's what we mean by they come out a lot of the time. Because they pulled out, didn't lose my rig. So happy days. Let's get her back out there. Nice old bait there guys. Three quarters of a bluey. That's up in the, on the up and over rig. Crack of that, if that don't bring in a congo, I don't know what will. Sam's got one on as well. Hell yeah guys. That's all for today's episode guys. One conga, shame we didn't get more, eh, mate? Yeah, it is a shame. But we got a beast, so it's not too, too bad. Not a bad conga off the shore. 18 pound, was it? Uh, yeah, 18.2. Yeah, 18.2. So that's not too bad. So stay tuned for the next episode, guys. If you like my channel, like, subscribe. It's Smash Fishing.